how to permanently disable Cortana in Windows 10 Home. Before we start this guide guys, I want to make sure you understand that if you disable Cortana, you'll also be disabling the ability to use Windows Search. Windows Search is basically the search box at the bottom left hand corner here of your taskbar. So if I just left click on it here, you'll be able to search your entire system for files, apps and programs. We can always re-enable Cortana and therefore re-enabling Windows Search at the same time. So if this is a compromise that doesn't bother you, then I recommend continuing following this tutorial. So so to disable Cortana permanently, what you first need to do is open up your task manager. So I'm just going to use a shortcut here, control, shift and escape all at the same time will bring up your task manager here. As you can see, if we look in the background processes section in our task manager, there is no CPU usage of Cortana, there is no memory usage of Cortana, no disk usage of Cortana and no network usage of Cortana. But of course, if we simply left click on Cortana here on our taskbar, you can see that that changes immediately and that Cortana begins to use our Windows resources. So let me just click away here to quickly stop Cortana from using our Windows processes. Once you've found Cortana in your task manager, all you need to do is navigate right next to Cortana and then left click on the arrow right next to it and you should be able to see a second Cortana within the first Cortana. Now what you'll need to do is simply right click on the second Cortana underneath the first one and then left click on open file location. Once you've done that, the system apps folder will open here in the following location. I'll put this location in the video description below in case you actually want to turn back on Cortana and Windows search sometime in the future. So once you've got the system apps folder open, you can see that Cortana is actually already selected and highlighted. Cortana in the system apps folder is called Microsoft.Windows.Cortana underscore CW5N1H2TXYEWY. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to rename Cortana in the system apps by simply adding a couple of words at the end of this folder so that Windows cannot find Cortana via the system apps folder. To do this, all you need to do is right click on the Cortana folder here in system apps and left click on rename. Once you've done that, just left click on the rename box here and then type a couple of words that you will easily remember to remove in case you want to re-enable Cortana and Windows Search in the future. So I'm just going to type underscore OFF for off. Once you've done that, hit enter. And as you can see, you'll immediately be notified with the following notification here, which says folder in use. The action can't be completed because the folder or a file in it is open in another program. Close the folder or file and try again. And then it gives you Cortana system apps folder name. So of course, guys, Cortana is indeed open in our task manager here to the right hand side and what we're going to need to do is simply end the task of Cortana and then immediately as soon as possible left click on try again. If we don't do it in time Cortana will immediately come back in our task manager. So make sure you have this little notification here easily accessible for you to left click on when you're ready to try again after ending the Cortana task. So to end the Cortana task all you need to do is right click on Cortana here and then simply left click on end task and then immediately left click on try again. And once you've done that guys, the system apps folder for Cortana will reflect the new name you have just given the Cortana system apps folder here. So as you can see, if we look at the Cortana system apps folder here, you can see that underscore off has indeed been added to our Cortana system apps folder here. And if we look to the right hand side here on our task manager, you can see that Cortana is no longer in the Windows background processes. As you can see, the background processes are filtered by name in alphabetical order. So A's at the top, B, C's, etc. So if we look to the C's here, you can see that Cortana is no longer running. Let's quickly test this by simply navigating to our taskbar here and left clicking on the Cortana icon here. As you can see, no matter how many times we left click on it, we will not be able to open up Cortana. Since this icon is now useless, you can actually hide it by right clicking on it and then simply left clicking on where it says show Cortana. Cortana button and as you can see it's currently check marked if you just left click on it again it will be hidden now of course as I said at the start of the video guys you will not be able to use Windows search anymore so if I simply navigate to the bottom left hand corner here and left click on our search box here nothing will actually happen no matter how many times I left click on it now if you want to re-enable Cortana and therefore also re-enabling Windows search then all you need to do is remove the underscore off from the Cortana system apps folder name so I'm just going to do that quickly here 
here to demonstrate it. And once you've done that, guys, you have reactivated Windows Search and are able to use it once again. Now to display the Cortana icon on your taskbar here, all you need to do is right click on your taskbar and left click on show Cortana button. Once you've done that, you'll be able to see Cortana here on your taskbar once again. And all you need to do is left click on it and Cortana should be re-enabled once again, ready for you to use. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to permanently disable Cortana in Windows 10 Home. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.